We're in the Komodo Dragon area with Colleen. Thank you so much for having us. Hi, it's good to be here. <laughs> now, give us a little bit of background about the Komodo Dragons here. So we just opened this exhibit this year and we have four baby Komodos. So they're just about a year old. They'll be a year old in January. And we have a very old female. She's actually the oldest female in captivity. She's 28 years old. Wow. And that's Loka. And she's in one exhibit. And then we have the four younger ones in a separate exhibit. Because they are quite small, Loka actually thinks that they're food. So we can't oh. have them together yet. That's right. I don't think that we ever would put them together. No. She's, uh, you know, she's quite old. And as these guys grow, it, it'll take them a while. It'll be between five and six years before they get you know, quite a bit bigger. Um, but we're hoping to keep the four as long as we can and then eventually they'll move on to other places in North America. They're run by a species survival program. So their genetics are matched up with other Komodo dragons throughout North America to best diversify the genes. Wow. And how big do they get? <laughs> they get really big. <laughs> there is um, a model in our Komodo rhino building, but they're huge. They, they're, you know, T like 10 <laughs> feet big, big huge. <laughs> the males can get are much larger than the females. So we have two males, little males and two little girls. Uh, so we'll see that diversity as they get older. And you guys do feedings here and the public can actually watch. We do. We don't feed them every day. So as a reptile, they don't necessarily need to be fed every day. So there's certain days of the week that we will feed them. Today is a big feeding day for Loka. So we'll get to experience that. Uh, and they get a variety of food. They get smelt, they get fish, they get chicks, they get bunny. They're meat eaters, so uh -huh. that's generally what they, they get. <laughs> and how often are you doing feeds then? Uh, it depends. The kids are, we're, we're doing some stuff with the little ones to train them to come to different spots for feeding. Um, so they get fed more often right now, but it's generally between three to four times a week that they'll be fed. Three to four times a week. Okay. Well, they just they eat enough to. <laughs> they do, to and they're you know they're active. You'll see them mostly under the heat lamps. They'll be sunning. So if you come to the zoo and you want to find them, look for heat lamps or in the big tree. Loka, she likes to swim. Um, and this is one of our new wonderful exhibits. It's called the Eurasia Gateway, and that's what it is. It's a gateway from us in North America to other places in the world, so mostly Europe. So we're, we're trying to transfer genes from one place to the next to diversify the species. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, we'll have more Go Calgary after the break.